Hey guys, what's up? Retro Snoopy here from the video. And uh, in this video, I got a lot of awesome games that I got to show off. Now, um, I've been picking up renovation titles, a lot of them. And if you don't know what renovation is, um, they're a company that made a lot of Sega games, mostly for the Sega Genesis. They made RPGs, shooters, um, also made some other different kind of games like side scrollers and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to start off with showing off two of them, but that I already have. But um, basically, I got a lot of games. I'm only missing one. And uh, I'll tell everybody what that one game is once I'm done showing off all of the other games. going to try to make this a little short. Um, I tried recording this a little bit earlier, and um, it went over 20 minutes, and I was running out of space and everything, and it just wasn't a fun time. So I'm um, going to try to make this short, so if it seems like I'm rushing through, you know why. So, um... First off, uh, the game that, in my opinion, is it's the it's my least favorite out of the renovation titles. I mean, I don't mean to, I don't mean to like uh, bash on this game, but out of all of the amazing titles renovation has to offer, this is not one of the. I wouldn't put it in the top five. Let's just say that, and uh, that game is Beast Wrestler, and uh, this is the wrestling game that never ends. Um, it is a tad slow paced. And um, the moves are kind of sluggish, and I found myself not knowing how to do any of the moves. And um, some people might like this game, so I'll try not to say too many bad things about it, even though um, there's not... Let's just say that it's not my favorite game. Um, it I have played it for a decent amount of time, just in one match, and I haven't found um, a way to defeat my opponent. I don't know if you can... But, um, if you can, then someone let me know in the comment section below if they know or not. And, uh, the other one that I had, which I picked up for really cheap, um, was, uh, Jennifer Capriati Tennis. And, um, interesting tennis game, believe it or not. It's the only one that's, um, in, that has, doesn't have a great manual, but it does have a great, um, cartridge. All these games I'm going to be showing off are complete and in nice shape, um, minus this one. Um, a uh, good tennis game. I enjoyed it. Um, I was, I'm not the best at it, but it was fun. Um, another game, which, uh, is a pinball game. Pretty cool. Uh, something that, like, went off the track of what, um, Renovation did, um, what their focus was, which was shooters, RPGs, and stuff like that, is, uh, Dino Land. And, um, this is a pinball game with dinosaurs, and I will admit it's a little slow-paced, but um, you can still find a really ha you can still have a really fun time, and they do have like, little like boss battles with prehistoric creatures, and it's just like you have. I'll just show it. I don't really know how to explain it, but um, right there, try not to get it glary. But there's the boss, and you just shoot your pinball at it, and um, whoops. Anyways, really fun. Um, had a lot of fun with it. It can get slow, and if you've played some other pinball games from what I've heard, they're faster paced. But um, still had a lot of fun with Dino Land. Um, let's see. Up next we have Final Zone, which is also very different and, new and unique, as most renovation titles are. Um, basically, um, in Final Zone, you're a, you control a mech, and you just shoot all the enemies, try to defeat all the enemies on screen, go on to another screen, defeat more enemies, whatever. Um, interesting plot, had a lot of fun. Um, if I'm honest, I haven't gone too far into all these games, so I can't tell if I'm... If I'm saying a game isn't so amazing, but if it gets better later on, then let me know in the comment section below, because I've... I, all I did was plug it in and play it until I died, so... Um, another game which I did enjoy is uh, Ernest Evans on the Sega Genesis, and uh, you have a whip, um, you go around, it's like the Castlevania 4 whip, where it's just all dangly and just goes around like crazy everywhere. Um, so that's a fun mechanic and a really fun game. The graphics are interesting, to say the least. Um, just definitely check it out. <laughs> Again, I don't really know how to explain it. But um, it's really fun. It's a game that you can just mindlessly plow through and have fun with. Um, somebody did a speed run in 11 and a half minutes. Just a little fun fact right there. Um, so, yeah, really cool game. It's uh, not the hardest game either. So, really fun. Definitely recommend it. A uh, strategy RPG, uh, Treasure. And uh, Treasure is really cool because um, it has really nice plot and um, it also has uh, really cool strategy RPG elements. And um, 
on the Sega Genesis, uh, really cool. I'll just show this off right here. Don't get turned off by this huge, um, like, box on the side with saying, like, displaying the character's health and statuses and, like, text boxes. Don't get turned off by that because, um, the strategy RPG elements are really fun. Definitely would recommend it. Um, another really cool game that's also different is Granada. And, uh, Granada is basically, um, you drive this tank, you go around, and you shoot things, getting power-ups along the way. And, uh, what's really cool about this game is that it has a mini-map. And on this mini-map, you see red squares. And, uh, the red squares are enemies, the little ones are little enemies, and big ones are big enemies or clusters of small enemies. After you defeat everything on screen, a boss appears, you defeat the boss, go on to the next stage, uh, just... And then you defeat the enemies, defeat the boss, go on to the next stage over and over and over again, trying not to get killed. And uh, really fun, again, there's not much for plot in it, but really um, interesting combat and everything in it is really fun. Definitely would recommend checking it out. game that I had a lot of fun with, me and my dad both played this. Um, really interesting uh, RTS game is uh, Game Ground. And uh, Game Ground, you can play as a whole bunch of different characters. You can see like sci-fi, a samurai, a, what looks to be a Nazi soldier maybe, um, generic soldier wearing red with a cap, just tips off to be Nazi for some reason to me. But anyways, you can play as several different characters, um, um, but just a wide variety of people, like I like it shows, um, war like samurai, sci-fi people, um, and like soldiers and stuff. Basically, your objective is to get to the end, um, or without getting killed, or defeat all the enemies on screen. To go onto the next screen, fight a boss. Uh, after you go through a couple screens, go on to another stage. Um, just really fun game. Definitely recommend it. Two player gets really interesting, and it's a lot more fun with two people than it is with one. Um, all right. Up next, we have Soul Dees, and now we're getting into the shooters. Uh, we have five shooters that we're going to show off. Um, this is the first one, and what makes this shooter interesting and unique is um you can attach your power ups to the top of your web to the top of your ship to the bottom of your ship to the um, front or the back of your ship as well and um, based on how you grab it like if you if you fly underneath it and then go up into it it'll attach onto the top and uh, vice versa with all the different directions and whatever uh, however you touch it is where it'll land and you can customize this in almost uh, really a lot of different ways. So it's really fun, and um, had a lot of fun playing through that and doing that. Uh, it's a shooter, it's pretty difficult really, but I had a lot of fun and it was really unique. Another unique shooter that Renovation made, they made a lot of unique games, um, is Whip Rush. And Whip Rush is cool because with your um, ship, you can speed up and slow down, and you will be needing to use this mechanic a lot in-game. Because there will be certain bosses where you need to like maneuver around very like carefully, like, you'll be closed in, in, um, like, lasers that are, like, two ships high, and they'll be firing a laser, so you need to go up and then down without having to worry about tapping it, and then going down from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. So, really, speeding up and slowing down is something that you're going to be using a lot, it's a really interesting mechanic that I really enjoyed in Whip Rush. Um, another game that's a cool shooter is Arrow Flash, and this is, um, you in a mech that turns into a ship, uh, really cool that your finishing move is interesting because you have to like build up a gauge and then you can shoot it and once you have your gauge full you can shoot it like twice bosses are interesting the power ups are interesting and um, just has that Sega Genesis shoot 'em up flair that everyone loves uh, Vapor Trail a cool um, two player game um, basically you can like I said you can play with two people um, you have three hits but I believe you only have one life so you can get hit three times before going down. Um, the power-ups are really interesting, really enjoyed that, and um, the two-player aspect just brings a whole new level to all shoot 'em ups and I had a lot of fun with this game. And um, basically, all I want to say is that, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but every single one of these re renovation games are 100% com complete. Um, I don't know about 100% complete, but all of them have the manual, the game, and the case, all original and real and in very nice shape, except minus um, the tennis game. So um, the last shooter is uh, a one that I had um, a Japanese version of that I picked up at a garage sale for a dollar, and um, that's Guy Ayers. 
And Guy Ayers is a really, really cool um, shoot 'em up because uh, the bosses are just wonderful. As you can see, you got a huge. I'll try to get the glare out. Got a huge boss right here fighting a golden dragon and death itself. Um, really fun. Um, had a lot of fun with the bosses, and um, it's a very it's a difficult game as most shooters that are straight out of Japan tend to be but still had a lot of fun and it was really unique. Um, one game that I really, really enjoyed playing through just a little bit of, like I said, I haven't played too much out of all of these, but um, that game is Exile. And Exile has a really fun story, um, had a lot of fun with that. Um, RPG aspects that whenever you go into it, you it turns into an action RPG. I don't believe it's going to focus, but if it would, that would be wonderful. My camera does not like to focus. But anyways, you can get a general idea from that. Um, really fun. Had a lot of fun with it. Um, they made some good RPGs, different kinds of RPGs. RTS, um, strategy, action. Uh, speaking of action RPGs, they made a series that I got all of them. I'm going to show all of them off and talk briefly about each one and what makes them special. First off, we have Valis. And uh, Valis is a very interesting side-scrolling beat-em-up um, action RPG game. And uh, basically, you are a teenage schoolgirl that turns into a warrior because Japan. Um, don't know what to say too much more about the plot, but did enjoy the plot. Um, so, basically, um, really interesting and fun um, combat system. I'll just show it off so you guys can see what I'm seeing. Um, not too much to gain from this, but definitely check out videos on every single one of these games that I've been showing off to you guys. Um, they're all really fun games, and I would definitely recommend them to all of you. And, um, the next game in the Valis series is called Sid of Valis. And Sid of Valis is a chibi-style Valis game, and if you guys don't know what chibi means, it's a Japanese term, which basically what they do is they take all of their favorite characters like um, Miss Vallis right here, and they turn her into a cute, small character that still has all of the same powers as the normal one does. And it makes for a very fun game with a really cutesy art style. I really enjoyed playing through it, um, just to show off. Um, you would think that it would have a big, like, hitboxes and everything, and it wouldn't be as, like, the controls wouldn't be as great as the original Vallis game, but the controls play just as good, if not better, than the original Valis game. So, really awesome. Definitely check it out. I'm going to have to start a second pile, because this is getting just a little bit too high up. Um, and the last game in the Valis series is Valis 3. And Valis 3 is basically the original Valis 2.0, or 3.0, I should say. But, um... Valis 3 basically updates on pretty much everything that Valis had to offer and um, makes it a little bit better. I uh, definitely recommend checking out the whole entire series and uh, actually the whole entire series of renovation titles in general as every single game, um, maybe minus Beast Wrestler, I don't want to offend anybody so don't get offended, this is all my opinion, there are amazing games and um, I would definitely recommend them to everyone to check out every single game. They are not the cheapest games, I'll just put it that way, but um, they are amazing games, and if you're looking for hidden gems on the Sega Genesis, then Renovation is a wonderful place to look. And uh, another game, which I know came out on the Super Nintendo, but uh, Yeez 3, and uh, people say that the Super Nintendo version is better, but I personally like um, the, the Sega Genesis version better. I don't know if it's just because I'm a renovation fanboy, as one might call it, but um, I just enjoy the cutscenes and the, uh, all the, the different things that renovation did with it um, than the, the Super Nintendo version and made it different. Um, it was better, even though the border's a little bit bigger on the Genesis version. Um, I don't know why they even had a border to begin with, I guess because they needed to put space for everything, but... Um, Anyways, I just personally enjoy the Genesis version better, and if you've played both of them, let me know which one you like better. And, um, let's see, up next we have Master of Monsters, and this is a very, very interesting and unique strategy RPG, because it's, um, hexagonal patterns, kind of reminds me of Fire Emblem in the aspect that it's got this going on with the battle system and how it shows up like that whenever you engage. 
but the hexagonal pattern is interesting and provides for some unique gameplay aspects. Master of Monsters is a really awesome game. Um, let's see, another one that me and my dad have played for hours is um, Arcus Odyssey. And uh, if you guys don't know about Arcus Odyssey, um, definitely check it out. It is the absolute definition of a hidden gem on the Sega Genesis, and the two-player feature makes it just that much better. You can choose from four characters. My dad normally chooses the green one. I usually choose the red one, as he has a whip and is basically um, he's basically Simon Belmont with red hair, which is the uh, the um, I can't remember it, but uh, it's like the one that I picked up on PS1 Castlevania Chronicles on PS1. When if you play a range mode, you can play as a Simon Belmont with red hair, and that's exactly what it reminds me of in Arcus Odyssey. So I play as that one every single time, and uh, really fun. Had a lot of fun playing Arcus Odyssey and would recommend it to everyone. Even if you're not looking to collect renovation titles, Arcus Odyssey is a game to check out. Now, as we're getting on to these last two, um, these last two are very much wonderful titles. And um, they're also more uncommon and rare, just as things seem to work in the video gaming world. The better a game is, the more expensive and rare it is. So, um, these games were very hard to track down, but once we did track them down, it was great, because these are very amazing games. First off, we have Elemental Master, and Elemental Master is a top-down, um, shoot-'em-up. What makes this unique is that you aren't a plane, you aren't a tank, you are a person shooting magics. And, uh, I'll just show you what I, what I mean real quick, um... Basically, that's you, that's you, and that's you. You shoot upwards, and you can move around. Really unique and interesting. It reminded me a lot of Felios. Uh, had a lot of time with this one. Uh, had a really fun time as well. And um, you can change the way that you, the different beams that you shoot out. And overall, it was just a wonderful experience. And uh, if you can if you can track down a copy of this game for cheap, or if you can just track down a complete copy in general that's in nice shape, then you should probably buy it. As um, it's awesome, really great game. Definitely check it out. And uh, the last game that I'm going to be showing off, the one that was the hardest for me to track down so far, um, at least the one that's complete and in nice shape, besides the one that I haven't gotten yet. Um, and that game is, um, well, alright, um, that game is El Viento, and El Viento means the wind in Spanish, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I did take a couple years of Spanish, but I might be wrong, um, anyways, El Viento, the wind, um, uh, basically you play as this chick with, um, fire claws, you, it's like a projectile that you throw out with you as your attack, and, um, basically, uh, it's a side scroller. It reminds me a lot of the Valis series, but um, better. The action's cool. The bosses are amazing, and again, a very, very hard game to track down. And um, this one is just happens to be very mint, and it is in very, very nice shape. So much so that I am afraid to touch it because of the, how great of a shape it's in. Um, so yeah. El Viento, The Wind, is an amazing, amazing game. Definitely check that out. Also, the one game that I haven't picked up, which would complete my collection of the 23 games that came out on the Sega Genesis in the U.S., is Todd's Adventure in Slime World. And there are copies of it on eBay. And um, uh, basically, the reason why I'm stalling is because there are not any complete that are in very nice shape which is what I want. I want all these to be in wonderful condition. Um, if I'm going to get them, I would like for them to be in wonderful shape, and um, won't settle for one that has the front page missing off of the manual, or a completely and utterly torn label on the cartridge. I am going to be wanting something that is of the utmost quality, and that is what I've not been able to find yet. So I was hoping that I would have been able to show off the complete renovation collection in this video, but I promised that I would show off, I would show it off this week, and I could have postponed it and done it later, but um, 
I just wanted to show the, all these games off, and I will be picking up Tales of Adventure and Slime World sometime soon, hopefully, if I can find a copy. And when I do find a copy, it will be showing up in a pickups video, and I will be saying that it is the uh, last game that I need to complete my renovation collection. And basically, renovation um, is a very wonderful, just absolutely outstanding company that um, made really great um, Genesis, and I believe they also made some stuff on Sega CD. Um, just great company. They made a lot of great games, and uh, definitely recommend you guys to put them on your list, check them all out, um, do whatever, um, put them on your two playlist, um, do whatever you want to do, buy just the uh, cartridges, do just get out there and play these games. I would definitely recommend these games to absolutely anyone who has a Sega Genesis. That is how much and that's how much I love these games. They are all very great and wonderful games. So anyways, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. This is Dr. Shinobi, signing out.